Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about vermiculture and worm farming uh, that I mostly do inside my house. And uh, so today what we're going to do is we are going to see how the bin did that we fed meat to last time. It was a little scary. Um, honestly, I have fed egg before but never actual meat. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the bin and see what happened. Last time, I'll put a picture below, uh, we had a little egg carton, which you can see here, and we put some hard-boiled eggs in there, and we also put some rib tips in there that were left over from uh, some takeout. So I see a little bit of mold here. I did put some worm chow in here to kind of uh, give them some fast food to uh, help them with uh, eating, having something to eat, at least until the, the eggs and whatnot were available to them. I don't see any evidence that any sort of critters have gotten in here as of yet, but I figured I would go through, check the moisture on the normal side of the bin, and see if, you know, one of the things that I thought was if, if there was something horribly wrong with the meat uh, over here, that they could come over here and hang out and wouldn't have to uh, worry about it. But this bin usually has about three quarters of a pound of worms in it uh, for the experiment and I went and put another quarter pound of worms in there of my mixed red wigglers, blue worms, and European night crawlers mix. So let's let's take a look and see what they have done. I'm gonna scrape off the top here of the stuff that's dried. I did have that lid on you know, just so to keep the moisture in and any sort of uh, weird uh, smells or something that might attract things that we wouldn't want in a bin. Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to pull off the top here so we can expose, you know, maybe what happened to the meat. So, I, I know it's in the egg carton, but I don't know... I don't remember which way I put this on the shelf. Oop, there's a worm ball. So they're happy about something. So I'm just going to kind of keep digging here. And I still see a ton of worms here. So they must be liking something. So... I swear I'm not dragging this out on purpose. I just don't want to miss if there's any meat or anything uh, to see what it looks like after 20 days. So, and I know this egg carton is not going to be in any shape for me to pull out. At this point, I'm not smelling anything. Um, it's been 20 days. Here's an egg. So they have not finished the, the egg. And I think at some point it was eggs and then meat. I'm seeing cocoons in here too. Okay, so I'm not... The egg seems to have turned into paste. Okay, now it's starting to smell a little funky. But I don't see any evidence of the meat. I see egg. And in the cubes where the not egg, let's just call it egg and not egg. I'm seeing, maybe that's meat? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Um, so there's an egg, there's an egg, and not egg. So it looks like they're doing really well with this really weird feeding that I have never done before. Yeah, so it actually looks like they ate the meat faster than the egg. If you're liking this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. It's been 20 days. There's probably a pound of worms in here or more. And uh, there you have it. They've, they've completely taken care of it. I don't see any evidence of the rib tips. All I see is some of the, the egg left over. And uh, they were ball all the worms were balling up over there, so they do seem to like it as a food source. So that's good. 
So we'll just kind of uh, leave them to it over there, and then we'll put today's feeding over on this side. And, uh, you know, you may be wondering, why am I doing this? And I, you know, my goal as a worm farmer is to keep things from going into the landfill. And uh, I did find myself throwing things away that were, um, you know, like cheese and eggs and meat and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, that's going to the landfill. Um, you know, maybe when I had a big Labrador, I could <laughs> feed the random food to him. But, uh, you know, you can't really do that with pugs. Uh, so, I was like, well, how am I going to figure out a way to incorporate meat and eggs and cheese into my vermiculture? And I thought, well, we'll do it slowly. That's how we'll do it and, and see how it goes. And it is going. It is working. Um, I don't think I would probably introduce this to anything very quickly. But I did start out by adding like one or two eggs. And when they were gone in a couple of weeks... Then the next time I added a little bit more, and they continued to do well with the eggs, so I thought I could up the game and try meat. So that was probably, you know, I'll put the picture, but there was probably four or five pieces of rib tips that were about half the size of an egg. So this bin is nowhere near done, and uh, I'm going to give them some more bedding so that we can give them some new food. Okay. So today, it is going to be not cooked eggs. So that's what they're going to get when they finish that. And then, again, because of the fast food versus the slow food, I am going to give them a little bit of the, uh, the worm chow just so they have something to eat until that becomes available to them. You know, one of my theories also is that, you know, the worms don't always, they can't always get at things immediately. That the bin critters have to help them out a little bit. So that is what I'm doing by giving them a little bit of worm chow, giving the worms something to eat until the, you know, the roly polies and the mites and everything else have a chance to pre-work some of this harder material for them so that they have a chance to get into it once that it is appropriate for them. So, if you like all of these experiments, I have a playlist that you can look at over here and see all the different experiments that I've done. YouTube, of course, has its own opinions, and it thinks you're going to want to watch this video over here. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.